our out of this world lead is way out of this world, 390 light years away. In fact, for context, one light year is equivalent to six trillion miles. Since 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been on a mission to explore the whole freaking universe. And without any doubt, its latest discoveries are way more astonishing. It's letting us sneak into the world no one knows can even exist. The universe is way more widespread, filled with such planetary bodies you cannot even imagine in your wildest dreams. It's so perfectly tangled that each galaxy, star, sun, and moon is intact at its place. Neither do they fall nor interact. But all these bodies keep revolving around the sun. This $10 billion worthy observatory is totally worth the investments the astronomers have made, and it's one of the most latest discoveries is a living example. A team of researchers from the Cosmic Dawn Center in Denmark, including team leader and postdoctoral scientist Shouwen Jin, have discovered a massive chain or cosmic vine of 20 closely packed and gravitationally bound galaxies. The vine isn't just a hypothetical structure. The scientists have really seen it, and from every aspect, it's an art of nature. Such a massive, dense, heavy structure is known to be the seed from an early galaxy that led to the giant universe we're living in today. It is named Cosmic Vine in a paper set to be published in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, available as a pre-peer-reviewed paper published on the research repository website ARXIVE. It's shaped in a bow, estimated to stretch more than 13 million light years long and about 650,000 light years wide. As we know, the Milky Way is about 100,000 light years wide, but this dense structure is 650,000 years wide, making it such a giant we never knew existed so far from Earth. Scientists are pretty sure that the cosmic vine is a way to sneak into the hidden stories of the universe that are still untold. They are considering this dense structure to discover how the largest structures in the universe were formed and how they have evolved over 13.8 billion years of cosmic history. I mean, it sounds totally insane that the universe is 13.8 billion years old, and there are a lot of parts that are still undiscovered. While researching this massive cosmic vine, astronomers came across the James Webb Space Telescope's observations of an area called the Extended Groth Strip located between the constellations Ursa Major and Bootis. The team was way too anxious researching about the lights from very early galaxies that are frequently known as redshift, a measure of how light increases in wavelength as it travels vast distances through the expanding universe. All of the galaxies located in the cosmic vine are pretty giant with an entangled structure showing a redshift of roughly 3.44. It means the light captured by the James Webb Space Telescope traveled for most of the universe's 13.8 billion year existence. It originated from objects around 11 to 12 billion years ago. The cosmic vine is as giant as such an object has ever seen in the universe so far, and scientists are hell sure that it will break the record of every massive planetary body that is still hidden. According to NASA's team of astronomers, the cosmic vine is notably larger than other observed galaxy groups from the early universe. This discovery adds to the increasing number of surprisingly large structures in the early universe, identified by JWST. According to the researchers who are actively looking into the early universe, these are the most massive structures in the universe bound together by gravity, with masses typically ranging from hundreds of billions to quadrillions of times the mass of the sun. Billions to quadrillions times two multiply 10 raised to power 30. That's the mass of the sun, and such a giant size is way too astonishing to even imagine. How this massive planetary body was hidden for such a long time? Why wasn't the Hubble Space Observatory able to observe the cosmic vine? Is it a coincidence, or the massively dense vine was deliberately neglected? There are way too many questions that are still not answered, and surprisingly, no one legit seems to be digging into why cosmic vine got discovered too late. From the very latest research, it's estimated that Cosmic Vine has a mass of about 260 billion solar masses and is still growing, and it's still said that two of its most giant galaxies are now even ready to quit. 
While studying the redshift's wavelength, it was found that the star formation within the two specific galaxies of Cosmic Vine was stopped, designating them as quiescent or quenched galaxies. Now, here comes another question. Despite why Cosmic Vine wasn't discovered earlier, the question is, what is stopping star formation so early in the cosmos? They found it odd to see big galaxies lacking star-forming material in the ancient universe. One research says that recent galactic mergers caused by cosmic collisions led to intense bursts of star formation that resulted in the usage of half a billion of most galaxies' gas before the James Webb Space Telescope could have observed them. Despite this, the entangled cosmic vine also raises questions regarding the nature of our universe. From some noteworthy research, the universe is nothing more than a mere phenomenon composed of dark matter and energy, but for some other scientists, it's an art, nature's wisdom, a hidden story about the formation of the early world. Thus, further study is needed to solve the mysteries locked behind this ancient galactic chain. However, let's dig a bit further into why galaxies die in the cosmic vine. The research team has labeled the two dying galaxies as Galaxy A and Galaxy E. These are not only the two most massive galaxies in the chain, but they have shapes dominated by large central bulges, so have structures similar to more modern galaxies. Scientists have precisely noticed that these large massive galaxies appear to have slowed their rate of star formation significantly. When the James Webb Space Telescope observed Galaxy A and E, they found out that these planetary bodies are forming at a rate equivalent to just half a sun each year, and galaxies with such a slow rate of star formation are specifically referred to as quiescent. That means the planetary body is calm, dormant, or not currently active or exhibiting motion. According to the scientists at NASA, such slow star formation is possible for the result as galaxies run low on gas and dust that form the building blocks of stellar bodies with our galaxy, the Milky Way, being an example of a modern quiescent galaxy. However, finding such a quenched galaxy in the way too widespread universe is not an easy task, and the team suspects that Galaxy A and Galaxy E may have become quiescent as a result of collisions and mergers with other planetary bodies, and that too way before 500 million years before to reach the state the galaxies are revolving today. There would have been a massive explosion in star formation, or a starburst, as a result of these mergers. The discovery of galaxy E and A also signifies that the massive quiescent galaxies can form in large cosmic structures that themselves go on to birth galactic clusters. In further studies, the team concluded that they are now ambitious to conduct further research about other quiescent galaxies in the clusters of the early universe, further improving our understanding of the growth of galactic structures. From every aspect, the discovery of Cosmic Vine serves as a monumental achievement in the history of science. It introduced us to the kind of world no one knows could have ever existed so far from Earth that is leaving an indelible mark on our understanding of the universe. As researchers delve deeper into the implications of this cosmic structure, the legacy it leaves behind goes far beyond astronomy. It widely contributes to our understanding of cosmological structures. I mean, Cosmic Vine might seem like a simple planetary body that's just got discovered, but if you look a bit deeper, you'll get to know it. Challenges our existing paradigms about the formation and evolution of cosmic structures. Its pretty massive and great giant structure and unique bow-shaped configuration prompt a re-evaluation of theories surrounding the early universe's structure. This discovery also largely contributes to the cosmic atlas that's enabling scientists to refine models and theories related to large-scale structures. Also, another noteworthy aspect of the cosmic vine is its potential as a celestial fossil that is known to contain precious information about the early stages of galactic evolution. Studying the galaxies within the vine allows scientists to understand how galaxies and galaxy clusters are formed by the complex interaction of cosmic forces. This newfound knowledge can help rebuild our understanding of how galaxies have evolved over billions of years. But despite this, the discovery of such a massive structure in the early universe introduces new puzzles and challenges for cosmologists. There is a need to thoroughly explore the mechanisms that allowed the cosmic vine to form as well as the factors that influenced its unique shape. Whether it's the scientists at NASA or the Dawn Center, 
all the researchers are way excessively inclined to research these mysteries, contributing to a more comprehensive comprehension of the cosmic narrative. Needless to say, the Cosmic Vines mysteries also raise intriguing questions about the role of dark matter and dark energy in shaping the cosmic web. As researchers dig into the gravitational interactions within the vine, they try to determine which enigmatic cosmic components are at work. This exploration also offers insights into the distribution of mass in the early universe and the forces steering cosmic expansion. Not only this, but the crazy scale and density of the cosmic vine provide an ideal testing ground for fundamental physics. As light from the distanced galaxies or stellar bodies within the cosmic vine reaches Earth, it carries information about the physical laws governing the universe in its infancy. Researchers aim to use this cosmic laboratory to refine our understanding of fundamental constants and the behavior of matter and energy in extreme cosmic conditions. Even apart from refining our knowledge and contributing to the legacy of science, the Cosmic Vine extends beyond scientific revelations to fostering international collaboration. Researchers from various space science agencies are now on the same mission to unlock the secrets of this cosmic structure. The collaborative spirit displayed in this endeavor should serve as a precedent for future joint ventures in space exploration that highlight the importance of combining resources and expertise to gain a deeper understanding of our universe. Also, the success of the James Webb Space Observatory discovering this tangled cosmic structure is a testament to significant technological advancements. From its infrared spectrum capabilities to its highly sensitive camera instruments, JWST represents a quantum leap in observational technology. However, in the era of big data, the analysis of vast data sets generated by instruments like JWST has become a colossal task. Here, citizen science comes to the rescue. Zooniverse is a platform that facilitates the public to give inputs and empowers a global community to contribute to the analysis of JWST data. This will also help the scientists get more up-to-date data, and that too from where the target audience is massively into it. Through collaboration, scientists can identify patterns, anomalies, and potential celestial phenomena more quickly, bridging the gap between researchers and the general public. Such initiatives aren't only good when it comes to science, but also serve as an educational tool, fostering a sense of shared discovery. In a nutshell, if rightly implemented, citizen science can serve as the major building block for exemplifying how collective intelligence can amplify the impact of space exploration. So with that, it's the end of our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and comment below. What's your opinion on Cosmic Vine?